In 2015, microscopic machines have journeyed inside a living animal for the first time. The machines made of polymer tubes coated with zinc are just 20 micrometers long. The tiny devices deliver a cargo of nanoparticles into the stomach lining. The researchers say that the method may offer an efficient way to deliver drugs into the stomach to treat peptic ulcers and other illnesses. But what if we could use this concept of micro-machines to come up with an innovation that can bring a change in the medical field? A very good morning to everyone watching this video. Before I explain my innovation, I want to give a backstory on how I got the idea. I watched a video of an open heart surgery. Replacing a defective or deformed heart wall, repairing a potential aneurysm and correcting a blocked cardiac artery traditionally requires an open heart surgery. The patient is put under general anesthesia, all body systems are Q-set, the body is hooked up to a machine to provide oxygen and the heart is stalled. The chest is sawed open and the ribcage spread out. The problem is fixed by skilled human hands when the patient is under anesthesia. Now complications arise from the need to quiesce the heart. So the surgery must be performed quickly or it can go downhill really quick. Non-invasive procedures have been developed for angioplasty, stent placement and even heart valve replacement by TAVR that is transthoracic aortic valve replacement. These procedures eliminate many of the open heart surgical procedures and the attendant risks. Imagine we could take this to the next step. This is my project Heartbot. It is an injectable micro machine that enters the bloodstream, navigates to the heart and either autonomously or under surgical guidance performs the procedure that we require. Let me explain this in detail with the help of a pictorial representation. The heart bot is made of five compartments, the central compartment and its four add-ons. These four compartments are detachable and can be added only when necessary. Now let's talk about the central compartment. At the top, it has a pixelated camera and a light so that the surgeon could clearly see inside the bloodstream. Below the camera is a nano sensor which emits infrared radiations to detect tumors at early stages or other abnormalities. If detected, a beep sound would be produced to alert the surgeon. The infrared heartbeat sensor emits infrared light to check whether the patient's pulse is maintained. The GPS helps the patient to track the heart bot in the bloodstream. Moving down, we have a rotatory fan which helps in the movement of the micro machine. Below it is a trapezium box which is the main part of the machine. It has robotic arms which can perform minor surgical cases like a torn artery with the help of scalpel, suture and scissors. Now let's talk about the add-ons. The first compartment contains adhesive hemostatic hydrogel. What is it you may ask? It is a gel which requires UV light to activate, can adhere within seconds and then bond to with biological tissue surfaces. The wounds and punctures of heart could easily be sealed using the bio glue. No stitches are required. This second compartment is a nano vacuum. They suck in clogs that loosen arterial plaque instead of balloon angioplasty. The third one is a blood sampler test for troponin T. An increased level of troponin T helps to diagnose heart diseases or attacks at earlier stages. The last but not the least is stem cells. This new treatment using stem cells which have the potential to grow into a variety of heart cell types could potentially repair and regenerate damaged heart tissues. The brain of the heart bot is the central server system where all parts are connected and send information wirelessly to the surgeon's device. Now having understood the working of the heart bot, I would like to show a three-dimensional image of the micro machine. So this is the heart bot. It has a camera at the top, the central compartment which includes the toolbox and the four add-ons namely the hydrogen, nano vacuum, blood sampler and stem cells. So that's my innovation, the heart bot. With the advancing technology and the power of human knowledge, I am sure that this device can be made in the near future. If made, then this would have a huge impact on the medical field. I hope you like my project. Thank you for watching and have a great day ahead.